Hey guys, welcome to Medical Terminology on CoreSub. And this first video is just going to be an introduction. We're going to go over what medical terminology is as a course, what it can do to help you in the future along your medical pathway, and we'll even go over a syllabus so you can find exactly what you're looking for within the course and what this course is going to entail. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. The main idea of this course is that it allows the student to increase their fluency in the medical language while strengthening basic roots of medicine. A lot of people have this preconception that medical terminology is a course that, you know, really is focused and, you know, strictly about memorizing and reciting. But I want to let you know that there's much more to the course to, than that. And, you know, that's just a few of the things that I have listed here and by no means are what the course is restrained to. So by the end of this course, some of the things that, you know, and have a firm grasp on is the ability to name the various body systems and identify their basic components and functions. Recognize basic medical terms, which is what most people think the course is all about. Define vital signs and learn the difference between strong and weak vital signs. Learn the difference between signs and symptoms of a disease. And determine the care needed by identifying the meaning of the word group. And that last one, there's a certain reason why I included it. You see, that one takes a combination of your ability to comprehend you know, and memorize word roots, but it also adds an integration or an application aspect to it. It's almost as if you're taking that knowledge and then using it to determine the care needed. So if a patient is suffering from this disease, you, you can you know, find the meaning of that disease, what that disease is about, breaking that into word roots, and then giving the patient the correct care and the appropriate care using that knowledge. So it's more than just memorizing and reciting. Think of it more as application. Concerns. So medical terminology is almost like, I would say, learning a new language. This course is, you know, completely new to most people. It's the first medical course that many um, aspiring medical students take. And it almost seems like, like you are learning a new language. And, you know, new, with that comes new words, with new rules. And that, that applies to this. But I want you to forget about being intimidated by what you perceive to be words that are impossible to understand. You can trust me when I say you'll be guided through them step by step. And at the end of the course, you will find yourself fluent in medical terminology and on the road to entering a field in the medical profession. So some things I want you to keep in mind are that this course is designed for the student to go at their own pace, meaning that there's no one grading you. There's no one tracking your progress. It's all about you. This course is designed for you and for you to go at your own pace, meaning that it's completely fine for you to stop. It's completely fine for you to ask questions. That's all okay. This course does not require any previous medical background. Like I said before, this course is usually taken by intro level students. It's the, the really age group that takes this course is the beginning of high school. So I would say you're sophomore or you know even freshman year is when a lot of people take this course and obviously this course is offered by colleges which only goes to show that this course can be applied at a college level you know atmosphere so this course is vital and you will need to take this at some point but it doesn't need any previous medical background it's on the easier side of the courses i would say and the final thing and i feel like this is the most important the student will gradually gain an understanding of the medical terms to the point in which they are comfortable with hearing the word as well as saying and knowing what the word means. So aside from pronunciation and you know the ability to spell the word correctly, it's the fact that after this course, you're going to not be familiar with all the words, perhaps, but you'll be familiar with all the roots, the suffixes, the prefixes, the combining forms. And with that in mind, when you see a new word that you haven't encountered before, you'll be able to break it up and find the meaning by analyzing those specific, you know, word parts. And that's what this course is trying to get you to do, not memorization by any means. Sure, you will have instilled enough times and, you know, repetition is key into some aspect of the course. But like I keep saying, it's, it's not all of the course and it's a lot of application analyzing and it's not just about memorizing and reciting and i'll keep saying that to the point where it gets annoying but 
It's just so important. So many people think wrong of this course. And I just want to let you know that there's more to this course than memorizing and reciting. And I'll keep saying that. Okay, and finally, a knowledge base. So what I'm trying to convey here is that there are some things in this course that will stray from what seems like a medical background. And these are just general skills that you're going to need to know in order to gain a more firm grasp on what this course will entail and what the rest of your medical pathway will be like. So at first glance, some of these things might not be, you know, what you expect to, you know, see in a medical class, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. So you now a few of these skills. So as this course progresses, here are some things you can expect to expand your overall knowledge base on. So starting off with the ability to recognize anatomic position and identify bodily directions, recognizing and defining terms related to the abdominal cavity and peritoneum, becoming familiar with the planes of the body, recognizing divisions and regions of the abdomen, thorax, and peritoneum, and describing the location on the body based on descriptive orientation terms. First of all, I just want to get this out of the way. The reason there's, that there's an emphasis on the abdomen, ab, abdominal area, and the peritoneum and the thorax is because that's where a lot of these anatomical positions, bodily directions, and you know orientation terms are centered around. So there's nothing more to that. And then finally, like I said, these are, you know, some of these are, do look like they are medical related, you know, skills, but, you know, becoming familiar with the planes of the body, you know, but those things aren't usually what you would, you know, expect to see, but you'll start to realize that they are pretty vital in your ability to comprehend some of the things that we'll talk about. Finally, we have reached our syllabus, which is probably what most of you have been watching this video about. And... Uh, we have around 13 actual lessons and that bonus area, I'll get to that later. But yeah, we have 13 lessons in the course of version of medical, ter medical terminology. It's just how I've found the course to be best organized. And there's a reason for this, which I'll also get to later. Um, I guess the best way to do is just go through the syllabus. So lesson one, we have basic word roots, prefixes and suffixes. And then we move on to human body orientation the human body and health and disease. And then lesson four through 12 are all covering various body systems, you know, your cardiovascular system, digestive system, lymphatic, etc. And then you reach lesson 13, which is examination and instrumentation, which more focuses on the electronic side of medicine, the technical or techno technological side of medicine. There's two things that I want you to keep in mind when you're looking at the syllabus and going through this course. I want you to notice how there's only one lesson that is specifically dedicated to word parts. And that's because this course is designed to integrate. If you look at lesson one, it's basic word roots, prefixes, and suffixes. And that's the only lesson that's going to be hardcore focused on um, these word roots and word parts. And that's because the rest of the course is by no means will leave that entire concept behind but it's going to start helping you apply these different word roots when you see, you know, the various components of your, you know, stomach or the digestive system. You're going to realize that these word parts and these stems and these roots are all going to help you in co comprehending what we talk about and analyzing and, you know, really seeing these new words and putting them to use. And then with the syllable, you can choose syllabus, you can choose the videos that are most help helpful to you. Essentially, what this is saying is, let's say you're struggling on the respiratory system, then I would recommend that you go to that video and then really focus and, you know, see if there's any practice tests related to that or see if there's any quizlets you can review related to that video. And that's how the syllabus is going to help you if you're struggling with particular areas of medical terminology. And then finally, please keep in mind that, that the quizlets and practice tests might not be available instantly. This is primarily because I want to create personal practice sets and quizlets that are, you know, specifically de designed from Course Hub. Because I know there's a lot of various amounts of, you know, quizlets created by teachers and, you know, other students, other peers who, who are trying to, you know, create reviews for themselves. But these reviews, I want them to be unique and give you another form of review, review and not questions that you've perhaps seen before or you're familiar with. So 
really tests your mastery and understanding of the knowledge that I'm trying to teach you or go over with you. And you know, one more key thing I want to uh, cover is that remember that this course is designed to integrate. We're not going to leave anything behind. We're always going to be making connections. Relevant. So why medical terminology? Other than the fact that it creates a strong foundation for your medical course pathway, medical terminology is vital for a variety of certain circumstances. So if any of these things and more apply to you, then medical terminology is, is a mandatory course that you should take. Working with doctors, nurses, or other medical personnel. So if you're interested in working with you know, just other medical professionals, then this course is vital because communication is an essential part of any medical pathway or any medical career because you're going to be you're going to want to be able to relay information accurately and efficiently accurately efficiently and you know quickly because the fact that someone else someone else's life could be you know dependent on your ability to convey this information just makes it all the more you know, important to really take this course to heart and not just look at it as, you know, a course that you have to rush over. If you're interested in pursuing a career in medical transcription, medical billing, or medical coding, this course is going to be important for you because you're going to be able to look at a, you know, a sheet, a medical billing sheet or a medical prescription sheet, and you really find any errors or any anything that should be added that the doctor, you know, forgot to, you know, add in there. And that's just all looking and, you know, analyzing for errors or additions that you need to make. And that's also going to be, you know, a vital aspect of this course because you're going to want to know and, you know, see what those words mean. Why are they there? Do they make sense in that place? It's all just, it's just all, think of it all as a loop. It's everything is connected to the course in one way or another, whether that be direct or indirect. If you're looking to be a physician, secretary, secretary, or medical support staff, so that just goes back to communication. It's similar to the first one. You're going to be want to, you're going to want to be able to convey this information. If you need a review or extra tutoring for your anatomy and physiology classes, so this course is a good, you know, foundational course. It really helps strengthen your roots and whether it be playing sports, or, you know, learning, learning, learning a new skill or mastering a new skill excuse me, is it's the same thing. You want to you really be familiar with your roots and have you know strong roots because that's what medical terminology is all about. So if you're planning on taking any of those higher level courses and you feel yourself, you know, forgetting some, some things or if you feel yourself growing dis- distant from, from some of the simple things that your teacher discusses, then come back to this course. Come back to this course and really review and just do, you know, a skim review or go an in-depth review into the places where you're really struggling. It's really going to assist you in performing well in those higher level courses as well. Finally, if you want a jump start in the medical field before starting college, like I said, this course is usually taken by students who are either in their freshman year of high school or their sophomore year of high school. But that's Not to say that it's not offered in college. In fact, I know many colleges are really keen about you taking this course. And many medical colleges or colleges centered around medicine are really keen on you taking this course because it's just that important. So if you want to get a head head start, then I would say that now is the time if you're in high school or even in your eighth grade year of middle school, then I would still highly recommend that you take this course if you want to jump start. And finally, if you're interested in learning the latest in medical language. So if you really just want to become familiar with the you know latest medical language, then the skills that you'll be taught in this course or be reviewed in this course are really going to help you understand, perhaps not teach or give you the meaning of those words, but they'll help you understand and better be able to analyze those words in the future. Some general info. So this is just some things that are really, you know, keen on the course of version of medical terminology. I highly recommend that you use this course as a means of review or pair with an ongoing in-school course or textbook. This will allow you to get the most out of your time. With the said, all these videos will be review based and not dead heavy on content, meaning that you won't often see long videos in this course. Always remember that with this course, we integrate. This just goes to say that this course is meant to at least strengthen your 
concept knowledge. It's not going to try to really, really like lecture you or really teach you anything. It's more, like I said, it's review based and not dead heavy on content. So just don't expect to come to this course and rely heavily only on this course to learn everything you're going to want to know on a, on a two semester or one semester basis. So that's just not how, that's just not what this course is designed to do or the course of version of this course is designed to do. And then last but not least, questions. Um, whether it be about this course or any of the future videos, I want you to never hesitate to ask questions. And this goes for any of the um, courses on course. So if you have any questions related to anything, whether that be in the comments below or emailing us directly, don't hesitate. This course, course hubs endeavors are to help you and to help learning become, you know, an action that's centered around passion. And we want that to be as fluid as possible. And we can't do that if we aren't, you know, familiar with what you guys don't understand or what you guys do understand. So I just want you to be sure to never be afraid or, you know, never hesitate to ask questions because this course is for you. And yeah, that's all I have for this video. And I hope you guys have, you know, learned a few things about what this course is going to be about. And if you're now interested in this course, then I'm sure by the time that this video is upload, uploading, there will be um, a ton of videos related to this course. So yeah, that's all I have. Stay safe, guys. And yeah, learn with the passion.